guys, we're at Universal Studios Hollywood right here in Los Angeles. And in this video, we're gonna see if it's worth it to get the Universal Express Pass. I have it right here. It's not the unlimited. If you want that limited, you can go to every single ride over and over again. But we got the one where it's one ride per ticket. So we go to Harry Potter ride and use it one time. We can't keep going over and over again. If you're interested in that, you have to get the Universal Express Unlimited. If you guys already bought the ticket and you wanna just add on Universal Express, just go find the box office. It's right when you enter just keep going straight and you guys can't miss it this is the building right here all you have to do is pay extra so it is $95 if you're gonna pay on top of it I went ahead and got the Universal Express pass along with the day pass so my cost $200 it depends on what day you come uh, I came on the weekend so it was a little bit more than it is on the weekday You guys, the first ride for the day is Despicable Me, the Minions ride. And you guys gotta go on that ride, first of all, if you haven't already, because we love that ride. So that ride, it was a 45 minute wait, and we actually only did nine minutes. So we already saved some time right there. I think at the very end, I'm gonna calculate all the time that I saved, and then I'm gonna, and I'm gonna put it all the way down below. I'll let you guys know what the total time saved is. But so far, we are doing so good. So our second ride was Life of Pets, and that one was only a 30 minute wait, and we did 11 minutes in line. That's from when we got, when we scanned our ticket all the way until we sat down. So that's 11 minutes. That one wasn't the greatest. I mean, yeah, it's cool. We did save some time, but maybe if the line was a lot longer, you know, we would have benefited a lot more from it. But uh, that was the first time of actually going on this ride, and I did like it. It is a pretty cool ride. So now I think we're gonna hit up the Simpsons ride, Krusty Land. So when you guys are going to Krusty Land, the Universal Express, as you're looking at Krusty Land, it's to the left-hand side. I don't know why it's like different than everybody else. It's kind of like every other ride is basically where the regular entrance is, but this one's a little bit different. So this one was a 55 minute wait, and all we did is 15 minutes. So this is like the best so far that we've had, and it probably would have been a little bit less than 15 minutes, but I think they miscounted, so we had to go on the next go around. But you guys, so 15 minutes, from 55 minutes, it's already it's already paying for itself for sure. So let's go on to the next ride. We're probably gonna go to Studio Tours. So you guys, next is the Studio Tours. All you have to do is look for the sign of Universal Express on the left-hand side. And you guys, it is 55 minutes currently, but all we had to do is stick to the left. We showed our pass got clocked in and we were good to go you guys we only waited five minutes for this ride so that's 50 minutes it's almost an hour so just that alone like we are loving this universal express pass and we love the studio tour we always have to check it out and they had some new stuff this time so we were pretty impressed and of course fast and furious definitely makes up for it at the end we are now headed to the lower lot the lower lot does have the mummy ride, it has Jurassic Park, and it also has Transformers. We'll probably head to Transformers first. I don't know if we're gonna do Jurassic Park because uh, nobody wants to get wet, but we'll see how it goes. And the cool thing is they have Super Mario Brothers opening up soon in early 2023, and I'm looking forward to that. You guys, Transformers was 40 minute wait. You guys, we cut it down to a four minute. I wanna say it's like world record. Like we flew, we just bypassed everybody and went straight to the ride. Like I loved it, you guys. And I just, that was probably like my number one ride. So we always have to hit up Transformers when we come. But man, this Universal Express Pass is definitely paying for itself. I think we're gonna check out uh, The Mummy Returns now. So the mummy was 50 minutes total, you guys. We did it in only five minutes. I am loving and loving this pass. I know I keep saying that, but you guys, it's definitely worth it. We have a big group, and you guys know with big groups, you kind of tend to move a lot slower. So it's nice like getting through these lines quick because uh, it takes us like while for to get to one spot to the next spot. But yeah, definitely recommend it. And I love the mummy. I love when it stops and it does that reverse thing. Just love it, you guys. I did want to give you guys a heads up. As far as the Universal Express Pass goes, you cannot use it at restaurants here at all. So you're going to have to wait in the regular line just in case you guys were wondering. 
you guys. We're just in Jurassic World. I kept calling it Jurassic Park, but that's the old one. After they remodeled, it's now called Jurassic World, and it's so much fun. The new one is is a lot better than the old one, and I say like has the same like floor plan or whatever you want to call it, but like it's crazy. You guys haven't been on it. You definitely have to go on that one. You guys, it was 60 minutes, one hour, and we did it in four minutes. So that is great time saver you guys you can spend that time doing whatever eating walking around slow checking stuff out but i do love it love it love it so far you guys you guys harry potter ride is definitely a must when you come to universal studios any part of the harry potter land is pretty sick but you guys we went to the ride it was 60 minute wait time all we did is five minutes with our pass you guys be the judge of it i mean like this pass has definitely paid off so far and I i'm loving it let's keep it rolling we'll go to the next spot okay now i want to take a second to talk about the shows there are a couple different shows here at universal studios i'd have to say my favorite is probably the water world and then a second place is animal actors we went to animal actors on this time around you guys and i just want to let you guys know there is like a side entrance you get priority seating for the shows they let you in a little bit earlier so with the express pass it does benefit you when you're checking out the shows and there's a couple other shows too but those are my top two favorite right there parking is not included with the express pass so more people are familiar with the genie plus and that's actually for disneyland and for disneyland you get to reserve on the app and then they give you a certain time to come back for a ride so just to get give you guys a heads up it doesn't work like that for the express pass all you do is go through the express pass line and then you go ahead and go in you don't have to use your app you don't have to reserve you don't have to come back at a certain time so i do like that a little bit better than what disneyland has going on with their genie plus pass so you guys i have a quick tip for you we went to universal studios right when it opened up so the thing is like in the morning there is no lines for any of the rides so since we got the express pass and not the unlimited pass you know you could only go to one ride uh, per that pass so we actually went to harry potter because there was no line we didn't use our pass then all we did is we waited in the regular line which was only like 10 minutes because nobody was in there and then we got to ride it and then later on that i showed you guys a video where we went to harry potter then we used the pass when it was more packed so that's kind of like a little tip you guys when you get there early just try to go ahead and wait in the general line if there's no line that way you're not wasting your pass all right, you guys, I calculated how much time was saved. Drum roll, please. You guys, I saved 337 minutes of line time. You guys, that's five hours and 37 minutes. You guys, I was so, so impressed with the Express Pass. I don't think I'm ever going to go to Universal Studios without getting the Express Pass that's how much I really liked it, you guys. I don't know what else to say about it. It is definitely my number one. I'm going to be recommending it to my friends and family, all that good stuff. You guys, in this video, I'm telling you, if you have a couple extra bucks to spend, I say just go for it. Get that pass. It's going to make your trip a whole lot better especially if you plan out your trip like when there's some kind of special event like for halloween they have horror nights so like they do close the park early and if you want to get in there and get on all the rides then you definitely should look into getting the express pass you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give me that like share it all that good stuff and i'll check you guys out in the next video